There are some things in this world that are so terrifying that even researchers fear them. Don't believe me? From the most lethal things in the history of mankind to potent curses, here are 20 objects that scientists fear. Number 20. The Demon Core The Demon Core sounds like something straight out of a fantasy or anime movie, but it's not what you're expecting. It's not paranormal and neither is it supernatural. But what is the Demon Core? It's this unassuming sphere. Anticlimactic? Think again. This sphere, the size of a bowling ball, is capable of ending someone's life easily. After all, this big chunk is made from the deadliest material known to mankind, plutonium. This orb is at the center of the two most harrowing incidents in the development of nuclear weapons. These events claimed the lives of brilliant scientists and forever changed the course of atomic research. You see, this ball was intended to be the heart of a third nuclear bomb, one that if history had taken a different turn, might have been dropped on Japan during World War II. However, with the war coming to an abrupt end after the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the core never fulfilled its purpose. Instead, the Demon Core was repurposed for experiments at Los Alamos National Laboratory. In August 1945 and May 1946, the Demon Core was at the center of two criticality accidents. But what exactly is criticality? It's the point at which a mass of fissile material like plutonium can sustain a nuclear chain reaction, releasing an immense amount of energy. Think about it as limit testing. Criticality testing measures how much of a certain material you need to reach a strong reaction, and under what conditions. During separate criticality experiments, scientists lost their lives. However, both were caused by human error. The first incident involved a physicist named Harry Cricker Daglian. While working alone, he accidentally dropped a tungsten carbide brick onto the core, bringing it to supercriticality. Despite his desperate attempts to disassemble the setup, the damage was done. Daglian received a fatal dose of radiation. This incident ended his life 25 days later. Less than a year later, another physicist, Louis Slotin, was conducting a similar experiment when his tool slipped, momentarily bringing the core to a supercritical state. Slotin quickly reacted, pulling the core apart and stopping the reaction, but not before being exposed to a lethal dose of radiation, and his life abruptly ended nine days later. In 1946, however, the demon core was melted and recycled for use in other cores. Despite this, the legacy and grim story of the demon core remains. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Terracotta Army In 1974, a group of farmers near Xi'an, China stumbled upon an army that had been hidden underground for over 2,000 years. I'm not talking about a live army but an army made out of terracotta. This was the Terracotta Army, a vast collection of terracotta sculptures that depicted the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. Unlike anything seen before, this army consisted of thousands of soldiers, chariots, and horses. What's astounding is the fact that these soldiers are modeled after real people. Yes, that's right. There are about 8,000 of these life-size statues, and each one is depicted after a real person. Imagine the effort and dedication people at the time extended just to complete these soldiers. You see, these soldiers were created to protect the Emperor of China, who was buried around 210 to 209 BCE. Despite the fact that we discovered the Terracotta Army decades ago, we have yet to open the actual tomb they're protecting. Why? Well, simply because archaeologists are scared to do so. However, it's not because of the reason you're thinking. You see, the Chinese government and scholars refrain from opening the tomb because of several reasons. For one, we don't have the right technological tools to open the tomb without damaging it. We also don't have a guaranteed way on how to preserve its contents. What's more, ancient texts warned of elaborate booby traps, including crossbows set to trigger at the slightest disturbance and mercury rivers designed to replicate the empire's geographical features. Actual mercury readings around the tomb supported these historical accounts. This means that, yes, the emperor's tomb is literally cursed. Number 18. Tomb of Tutankhamun In 1922, Howard Carter and Lord Carnarvon opened the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. To this day, the young king's tomb is one of the most important and renowned archaeological discoveries of the century. However, 
Many believe that this discovery, no matter how monumental and significant, was a mistake. You see, not long after the tomb was opened, Lord Carnarvon, the financial backer of the excavation, died under mysterious circumstances. The cause? A mosquito bite that became infected after he cut himself while shaving. This sparked the rumors that the king's tomb was actually cursed. Over the following years, a number of individuals connected to the tomb's discovery passed away in various ways. Some died in accidents, others due to illnesses. This pattern led many to believe that an ancient curse was at work, punishing those who disturbed the young king's eternal rest. Skeptics, however, argue that these deaths were merely coincidental. Studies have shown that the majority of people involved in the excavation lived long and healthy lives. Yet the legend of the curse persisted. So what's the truth? Well, I'll leave it up to you to decide. However, the ancient Egyptians did believe in the power of curses to protect the dead. Inscriptions warning of dire consequences for grave robbers were common. All I know is that when it comes to these things, it's better to be safe than sorry. Number 17. The Crying Boy In the mid-1980s, a bizarre phenomenon swept through England, horrifying many. It centered around a series of paintings known collectively as The Crying Boy. As its title suggests, these paintings depicted various images of sorrowful-looking children with tears streaming down their faces. These paintings, particularly one featuring a young boy with big, tearful eyes, became the subject of an urban legend. The legend claimed it was cursed. The legend took off after a series of mysterious fires destroyed numerous homes across England. In each incident, flames consumed everything in their path aside from the painting of the crying boy, which remained completely unscathed amid the ashes. This eerie coincidence ignited a wildfire of rumors and stories about a curse associated with owning a copy of the painting. Firefighters allegedly began to notice a pattern, and soon, the story made its way into the tabloids. One of the most popular tales was published by the Sun newspaper, which ran a headline claiming that a firefighter found the painting untouched in several burnt-down houses. Theories about the origin of the curse varied wildly. Some speculated that the artist had mistreated the boy who modeled for the painting, who then placed a curse on the artwork as revenge. Others suggested that the tears of the child in the painting were real, and that they harbored a deep sadness capable of bringing misfortune to those who displayed the image in their homes. As panic spread, people began to rid themselves of the painting, with some even organizing mass bonfires to destroy them, hoping to ward off bad luck. Yet amidst the hysteria, Skeptics and rational voices attempted to provide explanations for the painting's apparent immunity to fire. They proposed that the materials used on the prints and the varnish might have been flame retardant, a common practice for mass-produced artworks of the time. Despite attempts to debunk the curse, the story of the crying boy painting remains. Number 16. Elephant Foot The elephant's foot I'm referring to actually doesn't belong to an actual elephant. Rather, it's a massive mass, a massive radioactive mass. The elephant's foot is essentially a mass of corium, a molten blend of nuclear fuel, fission products, graphite moderator, concrete, and sand that formed during the meltdown when the number four reactor exploded on April 26, 1986. When the number four reactor's core exploded, temperatures soared, causing these materials to melt and fuse together. This radioactive concoction then oozed through the reactor's structures, solidifying into shapes as it cooled, with the most infamous piece resembling a grotesque elephantine foot. At the time of its discovery, the elephant's foot was lethally radioactive. A mere approach could deliver a fatal dose of radiation within minutes, making it one of the most dangerous objects on the planet. Almost four decades later, this holds true. The initial radiation levels near the mass were so high that spending just 30 seconds in its vicinity was enough to cause dizziness and fatigue. An hour could lead to hemorrhage, and direct exposure could result in death within just two days. Therefore, photographing the elephant's foot posed a significant challenge. Early images were obtained using mirrors to round corners, with cameras set on timers to capture this radioactive monstrosity without human intervention. Over time, the radiation emitted by the elephant's foot has decreased, but it remains dangerously radioactive, therefore still being approached with caution by researchers to this day. Number 15. Nuclear Weapons Now some people are under the impression that Oppenheimer regretted his decision to create the atomic bomb, but historically, 
the man never really came to regret his invention. Albert Einstein, however, did claim that the atomic bomb was the one great mistake of his life. You see, the renowned genius didn't personally partake in the actual creation of the atomic bomb, namely the Manhattan Project, which led to the development of nuclear weapons. However, Einstein, along with Leo Szilard, a Hungarian physicist, played a crucial role in encouraging President Franklin D. Roosevelt to go for the development. More specifically, they hinted to President Roosevelt about the possibility that Germany could develop a nuclear weapon, an atomic bomb. The letter read, and I quote, In the course of the last four months, it has been made probable that it may become possible to set up a nuclear chain reaction in a large mass of uranium by which vast amounts of power and large quantities of new radium-like elements would be generated. Now it appears almost certain that this could be achieved in the immediate future. With this letter, President Roosevelt allegedly made the move to develop the atomic bomb, and to this day, it remains one of the deadliest and most lethal weapons humanity has conceived. Following the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the world witnessed the horrifying capabilities of nuclear weapons. Cities obliterated in seconds, tens of thousands of lives ended, and even more suffering from the effects of radiation. Number 14. The Hope Diamond the Hope Diamond is among the most renowned stones in the world, not only because of its importance and value, but because of the alleged curse that surrounds it. Originally extracted from the Golconda Mines in India, the stone made its first recorded appearance in the gem collection of King Louis XIV of France in the 17th century. It was a gift that soon proved to be a harbinger of bad luck. The diamond passed through various hands, leaving a trail of tragedy including the beheading of Marie Antoinette and Louis XVI during the French Revolution, suggesting that anyone who held the diamond would face dire consequences. But where did this alleged curse come from? The story goes that the blue jewel was actually stolen from a deity's eye in a temple in India. The god's anger has been imbued in the jewel. It was said that the diamond brought financial ruin, personal loss, and untimely deaths to those in its possession. Its name was taken from Henry Philip Hope, it was said that after acquiring the diamond, his family was plagued with misfortunes, leading many to believe the curse was real. Eventually, the diamond found its way to the United States, purchased by socialite Evelyn Walsh McLean, who famously dismissed the curse as superstition. Yet, tragedy continued to follow the diamond. McLean suffered personal losses, including the death of her son in a car accident, her husband leaving her, and her daughter's death, further fueling the legend of the curse. Eventually, the diamond was donated to the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., where it resides today, seemingly putting an end to the string of misfortunes. Number 13. Antibiotic-Resistant Bacteria We can destroy bacteria today thanks to the development of medicines that can fight them. But what if these bacteria become resistant to antibiotics? Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria evolve in response to medicines intended to eliminate them. As these microscopic organisms adapt, they develop the ability to survive even when exposed to antibiotics, making infections harder, sometimes impossible to treat. While this problem isn't too apparent today, many fear the emergence of these super bacteria. Imagine a world where a simple scratch could be life-threatening, where routine surgeries become high-risk procedures, and where infections that were once easily treatable turn into a real threat. That'd be horrifying. Number 12. Okiku. In the Menenji Temple in Iwamazawa, Hokkaido, is the Okiku doll, a terrifying figure that's allegedly imbued with cursed energy. Its story begins in 1918, when a teenager named Ekichi Suzuki purchased the doll as a souvenir for his two-year-old sister, Okiku. The doll, standing at about 40 centimeters tall, dressed in a traditional kimono and featuring a distinctive bob hairstyle, quickly became the girl's treasured companion. Tragically, Okiku succumbed to influenza the following year, leaving her family and the doll to mourn her loss. It was then that the sinister events began to surface. The family noticed that the doll's hair, initially cut in a short bob to match Okiku's hairstyle, began to grow. Initially skeptical, they couldn't deny the hair's continuous growth, reaching beyond its original length, only to be trimmed and then grow again. This inexplicable phenomenon led the family to believe that the spirit of their daughter had taken refuge in the doll. In 1938, seeking a way to honor Okiku's spirit, the family entrusted the doll to the Menenji Temple, 
where it's been kept ever since. What's strange, however, is the fact that the temple's caretakers, along with numerous visitors, have reported witnessing the doll's hair growth. But how could that be when the figure is not even alive? Well, many believe that the doll is possessed. Number 11. The Bassano Vase This seemingly ordinary vessel is known as the Bassano Vase. It hails from 15th century Italy. This vessel was allegedly crafted as a wedding gift for a young bride from a village in northern Italy. Unfortunately, she never made it down the aisle, meeting her untimely demise on the night before her wedding, clutching the vase with her last breath. Her final words, a curse upon the vase, doomed any who possessed it to a similar fate. As the years passed, the vase vanished, buried with its curse, only to resurface in 1988, along with a note that read, Beware, this vase brings death. The warning, however, was ignored, and the vase was auctioned off. Needless to say, those who didn't heed the warning soon learned to regret it. Its new owner saw the end of his life within three months, and the vase soon switched owners. The vase allegedly claimed the lives of several more owners before it was buried once again by the authorities who intervened. So if you ever find a suspicious face, you better make sure that it's not cursed, just in case. Number 10. The Woman from Lem Statue Originating from Lem, Cyprus, this statue has been linked to a series of misfortunes, leading many to believe it's cursed. Known as the Woman from Lem, this statue was unearthed in 1878. Not long after, the statue seemed to cast a shadow of death over its owners. The first family to possess it experienced a rapid succession of deaths, leading to the statue changing hands several times. Each new owner, her family, reportedly faced similar fates, with lives claimed unexpectedly. The legend of the curse grew so potent that eventually the statue found its way into the hands of a museum. Even there, the curse was said to continue, with the museum's creator who handled the statue dying under mysterious circumstances. According to archaeologists, the woman from Lem represents a fertility goddess rather than a deity of wrath or curses. However, no one can explain the bizarre situations that surround it to this day. Number 9. Microplastics did you know that microplastics have been found in human livers, colons, lungs, and other biological components? Yes, you heard that right. Microplastics. Microscopic pieces of the same material as most disposable things today. Now this is quite unsettling. With our changing world and the rise of consumerism, who knows just what other things will change or affect us in the future. Number 8. Robert the Doll. Just take a look at this doll. Now what do you think about this toy? Anyone who looks at this doll can deduce that it's cursed. This is Robert the Doll, and he's been at the center of several paranormal and supernatural incidents. Originally gifted to Robert Eugene Otto in the early 1900s, the doll was thought to be nothing more than an ordinary child's toy. However, those residing in Otto's house in Key West soon began noticing strange incidents surrounding the doll. The autos and their servants would often hear the boy in deep conversation with the doll. This wouldn't be so unusual if not for the chilling fact that a different voice would answer back. But things didn't stop there. Furniture overturned, childish giggles echoed through empty rooms, and toys were found ruined and destroyed. When the adults asked Otto, the young boy would often blame Robert the doll. As the years passed, the doll's sinister reputation grew. After Otto's death, New inhabitants of the auto home reported unexplainable activities like footsteps in the attic and a change in the doll's expression. Also, after Otto's death, Robert found a new home at the Ford East Martello Museum in Key West, where he sits to this day, encased but far from inactive. Visitors and staff alike report cameras malfunctioning in his presence and a strange compulsion to ask his permission before taking his photo. Those who neglect to show him the proper respect reportedly suffer accidents breakups, job losses, and more. These stories further perpetuated Robert's alleged curse. Number 7. Ballista Balls In 2015, a man returned to the border of Syria for one important mission, to return what he stole. Now you're probably thinking that the man is nice for doing this. Well, not really. You see, this unnamed man claimed he had stolen 2,000-year-old sling stones known as ballista balls while visiting the region in 1995. Archaeologists didn't notice that the ballista balls were missing, and when they did, it was too late. No one expected that a decade later, 
The spears would be returned for one good reason. The ballista balls were allegedly cursed. The man who stole them confessed to a life filled with harrowing and difficulty ever since he whisked away the ballista balls from where they were supposed to be. A curse? Or merely a coincidence? Either way, the man's bad luck made it possible for the ballista balls to be returned where they belonged. Number 6. Polish Vampire Burials Archaeologists were recently baffled when they discovered the most bizarre burials to date. Vampire burials were discovered across Poland. Yes, you heard that right. These burials were specially prepared to ensure that the undead wouldn't be able to rise from beneath the ground again. Among these burials is that of a child placed face down with a padlock near its feet. This was done to confuse the child should it return as a vampire and try to dig itself back to the surface. This is the tamest practice that we've observed as of yet. In 2022, archaeologists stumbled upon the grave of a young woman, who aside from being buried with a padlock, had a sickle positioned over her throat. Rocks or bricks were used to weigh down the dead or block their mouths, another tactic to stop these supposed vampires from returning to the world of the living. In times of plague and disease, when death could sweep through a village leaving devastation in its wake, the unexplained could easily become the supernatural. Bodies exhumed with blood at their mouths or in a state of natural decomposition that looked a little too lively for comfort were often accused of being vampires, the undead beings feeding on the living. People at the time had no choice but to resort to these drastic measures. Number 5. Myrtle's Plantation Mirror Nestled in St. Francisville, Louisiana is the Myrtles Plantation. It's a place surrounded by several grim stories, but perhaps among the most renowned is the legend of the mirror on the property. The story goes that the mirror contains the souls of Sarah Woodruff and her children, former residents of the plantation. According to local legend, they were poisoned, and due to a lapse in funeral rites or a sinister curse, their spirits were ensnared in the looking glass. Visitors report seeing handprints on the glass, faces peering out, or mysterious drips that no amount of cleaning can remove. Built in 1796, the Myrtles Plantation has witnessed over two centuries of history, from the early days of slavery to the Civil War, and with it, a litany of death, betrayal, and sorrow. It's said that the plantation is home to at least 12 ghosts, making it one of America's most haunted homes. Skeptics and believers alike are drawn to the mirror, seeking either to debunk its mysteries or to catch a glimpse of the alleged spirits. Number 4. Letta the Doll Crafted over 200 years ago, Letta was discovered underneath an abandoned house in the 1970s by Kerry Walton on a visit to his hometown in Australia. According to legend, when Walton found the doll, it was the beginning of a series of supernatural events that would turn any skeptic's head. Pets reacted with fear or aggression in its presence, and people reported feeling uneasy when near the doll, with some even claiming to witness it move on its own or hearing inexplicable sounds emanating from its vicinity. Hand carved from wood with real human hair, at least according to stories, and wearing a sailor outfit, Letta's features are eerily lifelike and unsettling. It's believed to have been made by a Romanian gypsy for his son, who tragically drowned with the doll in hand. This backstory offers a possible explanation for the doll's supposed ability to bring rain wherever it goes, a peculiar attribute that has been observed by Walton and others who have been in close proximity to Letta. Number 3. Radium Materials and Arsenic Books The 20th century was a time when people weren't aware of the harmful and lethal effects of radium. From the name of this element alone, you've probably guessed what it is. Radium is an element that is well known for being luminescent. This element, in the right conditions, can light up in the dark. Now, people during the Victorian era saw this substance and realized that it could be a revolutionary way to color everything. Toys, dresses, watches, and most importantly, books. Yes, you heard that right. But radium wasn't the only dangerous element people in the Victorian era surrounded themselves with. There's also arsenic. Just as you can see here, books with arsenic covers retain a beautiful, vibrant emerald color but that's with a price. Those who handle these books carelessly can easily poison someone. However, despite the hazards, a small number of these arsenic-containing books still exist today, tucked away in the collections of museums or the hands of private collectors. Handling these books now requires precautions, gloves to prevent direct skin contact, 
and sometimes even lead-lined boxes to shield from the possibly lethal substance still emanating from their covers. Number 2. Codex Gigas I'm inclined to think that any book with the intention of portraying the paranormal and the supernatural without the intention of expressing creativity is cursed. And by that, I mean that if these figures are drawn with purpose or created with extreme emotions, they're bound to contain negative energy. Perhaps that's the reason why many believe that this massive book is cursed. Befitting of its name, the Codex Gigas is a massive book that was allegedly created in the 12th century. Legend has it that the Codex Gigas was the work of a single monk, who in a bid to avoid harsh punishment for his sins, promised to create a book containing all human knowledge in one night. Realizing the impossibility of this task, he made a deal with the devil himself. The devil completed the manuscript in exchange for the monk's soul. This book, measuring 36 inches tall, 20 inches wide, and nearly 9 inches thick, was made from over 160 animal skins. Right in the middle of this tome is a drawing of the devil himself. Its contents, however, have a wide range and aren't centered around anything particularly wicked. Rather, it contains the entire Latin Bible, historical texts, medical knowledge, exorcism prayers, and even practical tips for everyday life. And now it's time for today's topic. This is one of the objects that scientists fear. We've seen the most bizarre and horrifying remains unearthed by archaeologists. But this arrangement discovered in an abandoned home was particularly jarring. This skull was allegedly discovered by authorities in a home that was said to have been abandoned for years. The bizarre thing is that, despite seeing no signs that the house had been broken into, this arrangement alone was in pristine condition, free of dust or clutter. Several eyewitnesses claimed to have experienced bizarre activities while passing by the abandoned house. A feeling that someone was looking at them, despite no one being there. Disembodied voices. Laughter that seemed to come out of nowhere. Unexplainable sounds. And the silhouette of a woman standing by the window that disappears just before their vision could focus on it. Now, there are several explanations about this. One, the house was somehow broken into by urban explorers and they decided to leave something interesting for the next people who would break into the home. Two, this could be nothing more than a hoax, with the stories fabricated solely for the purpose of creating another online creepy pasta. Or three, something supernatural might be surrounding the skull, and it might be cursed. I don't think I'd be brave enough to confirm which of these three are true. Number one, the chained oak. Nestled near the village of Alton in Staffordshire, England, is a centuries-old oak tree wrapped in heavy chains. This oak is part of a bizarre legend. You see, the locals claim that in the 19th century, the Earl of Shrewsbury was returning to his home at Alton Towers one stormy night when an old beggar woman appeared, asking for alms. The Earl, dismissive of her plea, spurred his horse forward. In response, the beggar woman cursed him, proclaiming that for every branch that fell from the old oak tree on his route home, one life from the Earl's family would die. Taking no chances, the Earl ordered the tree to be bound in chains in an attempt to prevent any branches from falling and thus safeguard his family from the dire prophecy. Over the years, the chains became deeply embedded into the tree's gnarled bark, serving as a haunting reminder of the curse and the lengths to which the Earl went to avert it. In fear of the curse, the chain remains around the tree to this day. Did I miss anything? If you know about other terrifying discoveries or cursed objects, feel free to share it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.